Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes. One is the NFL's greatest player of all time, and the second is game by game speeding towards dethroning the other at a pace so rapid it is simply incomprehensible. While they're both undeniably, unbelievably great, their styles couldn't be more different, or at least that's what the general perception is. But what if I told you that Mahomes has slowly begun playing more and more like Brady while sprinkling in elements that make him even better? Today we'll dive into the film to analyze how he's morphed into the Kermit Tom Brady, but first, let me break it down with some stats. As Mahomes' weapons have waned outside of Kelsey, he is attacking quickly and underneath more than ever. His 6.7 average depth of target in the playoffs would rank 39th in the league in the regular season. Tom Brady's career ADOT was 8.6, and his just 9.1 rate of passes more than 20 yards would be 37th. While Mahomes is known for throwing deep and extending the play, 50% of his throws in the postseason have actually come out in under two and a half seconds, which would have ranked ninth this season. He has become uber efficient by morphing his play style similar to Brady's attacking underneath with high precision on time to keep the chains moving. Their games in a lot of ways have become quite similar. The Chiefs aren't as explosive as in the past, and because the defense is so dominant this year, Mahomes has gone above and beyond to change his game to protect leads, take care of the football, and manage the game like Brady. And later in the episode, we'll get into why Mahomes can do all of those things, but also why he is even better. While Brady was the king of getting the ball out quickly to the right player, Mahomes has followed suit. Because the Chiefs don't have a deep threat or a receiver they can isolate outside to win, Kelsey's not really that guy anymore. They've been forced to rely on scheme more than ever to maximize Kelsey's abilities, because there's nobody else. They've extra leaned into their four strong concepts to maximize creating space underneath. Typical formations in the NFL are either 2x2 two two formations, where there are two receivers on each side, or 3x1, you guessed it, three receivers, one on the other. But it's pretty rare that teams ever put four on one side because of how hard it is to create space with things so crowded. You are overloading defenses to attack one side of the field, but offenses don't really lean into it because it limits the type of concepts you can run. It shrinks the amount of space you have to stretch out the defense because you're putting so many bodies over there. Well, the Chiefs run four strong concepts more than anybody and have really dialed them up this postseason. Here we can see what makes them so hard to defend. If a defense isn't bumping coverage over, they just don't have enough bodies. Since they're motioning Isaiah Pacheco strong to be the fourth, Roquan Smith is really put into a bind. Should he take and carry Marquez Valdez-Scantling or defend Rasheed Rice underneath? So, the Chiefs pick up the first. Even when teams get more of a beat on defending these concepts, the synergy Mahomes and Kelsey have is unstoppable, and even when there's no space, they win. The Chiefs' favorite concept out of four strong is Sale, which is a three-level concept. MVS runs deep to clear out the coverage, then Mahomes reads the underneath defender to determine if Kelsey or Pacheco will be open. Because of the way coverages are designed, almost always there's just one defender who Mahomes reads, and based on whether he jumps Kelsey or jumps Pacheco, the other guy will always be open. But watch this. With three deep defenders, the Bills need a third underneath defender to push strong to take care of Sale. So they man up the backside one-on-one, -on -one, then push Taron Johnson strong so they have three for three. Johnson takes Rice, linebacker AJ Klein Kelsey, and their other backer Tyrell Dodson can sit underneath for Pacheco. This should be covered. But Dodson knows they love the sail route out of this formation and is sitting right in that window. So, throw to Pacheco. But because Mahomes is so good, and because he has the synergy with Kelsey, look at this throw, and it's even better from the other angle. Mahomes knows he needs to create this minuscule window for the sail route, so he stares directly up the middle to keep Klein inside of Kelsey. The moment he sees contact, he throws with insane anticipation. The Chiefs' offense doesn't have big-time weaponry besides Kelsey. They need Pat to play on time, with accuracy, and rip teams up underneath, which is exactly what he's been doing. Even sometimes defenses defend these concepts correctly, but it doesn't matter. We're here the Dolphins play the same coverage as the Bills did, but instead of having Duke Riley, which is where AJ Klein was playing, positioned inside of Kelsey who was breaking out, they wisely have safety Brandon Jones drive down to take away the outbreaker. And if you didn't appreciate the anticipation on the last throw, well, check your pants now. 
Mahomes sees Jones driving to take away the outbreaker, so he throws back shoulder on a horizontal route. This is inhumane. You can see Kelsey knows to sit down with Jones driving because he knows Mahomes isn't going to lead him into a hospital ball. Mahomes knows where Kelsey will be. Kelsey knows he knows where he'll be. This is worse than watching Blackfish on Netflix. Mahomes has proven he's more than capable of emulating Brady's style when the surrounding talent and game situation calls for it. He attacks underneath more than almost anybody in the league, gets rid of the ball quicker than almost anybody in the league. These are both aspects that have always been attributed to Brady, but the way the two quarterbacks handled chaos when the play broke down is what sets Mahomes apart. Brady would almost always hit the check down. He was relentlessly lethal, could always pick up five no matter what. Well, when chaos ensues for Mahomes, that's when he's just getting started. First, a play that no shade to Brady, he just wouldn't run as often, which is sprint right option. It's a classic movement play that almost every team in the league runs, unless you have a glacier at quarterback, where it's really just designed for short yardage situations to pick up two or three yards. It's not a concept with sound protection because you're kicking out the D end with the running back Clyde Edwards Hilaire, but you're just trying to put the corner in conflict with Rice and MVS stretching him out. It's not bad that Brady didn't run this, it's more of a style thing and this wasn't him. But I have literally never seen anybody get to a backside slant on sprint right option. This is simply absurd. I dare anybody to go outside right now and start running as fast as you can one direction, then throwing 10 yards and seeing how accurate that thing flies. And I don't know, maybe you have an uncle who can simulate Jadavian Clowney. I'm not breaking any news by saying that Mahomes' extend the playability is good, not the hottest of takes, but watching him attack defenses like we saw Tom do for two decades and still being able to add on to that style of play is spectacular. When Buffalo kept pushing guys strong to take care of the four strong stuff, remember how I said they manned up the backside? Well, Mahomes figured that out pretty quick. What he does with his legs sets him apart, and every time there's a play where I feel like Brady couldn't have made it, I feel like Mahomes always can. Watch how he checks Dodson during the down to confirm that Blake Bell is manned up backside. Because they're four strong, he knows the Bills are going to push everybody to the right, and with Rasul Douglas on the left, Mahomes knows if Dodson pushes two, there is nobody else besides Rasul. With everybody to the right and Douglas locked on Bell, Mahomes knows he has one man to beat and can tear the Bills up with his feet. Another aspect that sets him apart from the GOAT is his pressure to sack percentage, where Mahomes is finished with a bottom five number every year of his career, which is good. Pressure to sack percentage is when you're under duress, how often do you take a sack, and it's a real skill a quarterback can possess. As I alluded to, Brady, who also had a low pressure to sack percentage, was able to find his checkdowns consistently and can throw the ball out of bounds if necessary. But Mahomes seems like he's just starting the play, when for 99% of the other quarterbacks, it would be over. Even on perfectly covered concepts where the defense gets pressure, Mahomes is still almost always able to win the down. The Chiefs are trying to confuse the underneath coverage with crossing routes, but watch this perfect pass off. Duke Riley takes McCole Hardman, David Long takes Pacheco, and Eli Apple becomes the new zone defender in the middle. Mahomes sees everybody is completely blanketed, the ends are right in his face. This is a sack for everybody, definitely a sack for Brady, but Mahomes just squirts out of it easily and runs for 20 yards. The beautiful part of his game is that he doesn't fall into the same trap as more typical running quarterbacks. When they get spooked, since their best pitch is their escapability, they get to it too quickly, and often unnecessarily, but Mahomes uses it as a last resort always. If the pocket is set, he can just sit in here and relax and throw, and there is zero panic to his game whatsoever. One more example of he and Kelsey's just insane connection just for schnitz and gigs. This is once again their sale concept, and the Dolphins do a perfect job of covering it. This plays out as basically man, so there's really nobody to stretch out and high-low like there is in zone. But Mahomes doesn't panic at all, even though he knows this concept should be dead. He just sits there and trusts that Kelsey will do what he expects. He does. And the play comes wide open, even though it shouldn't. In a year where this was not the chief season, they are simply running through the NFL. Beating Josh Allen and Lamar on the road didn't seem likely with this version of their team, and it reminds me of the many times people tried to say Brady was done. This wasn't his year, the Pats should move off of him, and then 
he'd win the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes is playing at a level we've never seen anybody play at before. Out of necessity, this year he's morphed his game into what Brady's was for decades, but what makes him different is he's able to add elements that Brady never could. He might not be as successful as Brady… yet, but I have no doubt in my mind we are watching the best player we have ever seen. And in a year where everybody has counted them out, they are in and they'll probably win Patrick Mahomes' third Super Bowl.